Hello friend, this is Rupesh and you are watching CBP Nuts video series on C++ 17 features series. And I know you are maybe confused like what is inline variable? We know inline functions are there and the uses of that. But what is this inline variable? Yeah, this is new in C++ 17. I'll be telling you three different important use cases. So just complete this video before leaving. So first use case is like, and yeah, first of all, why do we need inline variables so here we can see in line int x is equal to maybe 10 so this is how you will write correct so if you write in line for any variable it means it is going to be treated as single instance throughout all the compilation units if you didn't understood this don't worry let me give you the examples so if you have a dot cpp and let's say b dot cpp E dot cpp includes a dot h okay this includes e dot h and this further includes b dot h and b dot cpp includes b dot h so we see that b dot h is inside b dot cpp also and a dot cpp also now if this b dot h is having integer x is equal to 10 as global variable just inside this dot h as a global variable and if you will try to compile this it will give you the error saying that this integer x is having multiple definitions because this cpp and this cpp are two different compilation units and when you will merge them try to make a single execution or binary file then in that case it will tell that okay i have same name but for two different places and that's the confusion so we all know multiple definition issue very well so now this is the solution as i told you that it will be treated as single throughout all the compilation units if you put inline here just before int inline int x is equal to 10 and if this hierarchy is same then it will compile it won't give any error so this is the first use case let's talk about the second one second use case is let's say you have a class okay let's say maybe a correct and if you want to create a static variable int x is equal to 10 this won't compile because it is static hence it says you can just declare it you cannot define it assigning 10 to x means you are going to define also so this is not permitted yet i mean till c plus plus 17 it was not permitted now it is so how would you do that just put inline here static inline int x is equal to 10 this would compile and before that if you have uh, ever faced this issue what you actually have to do you know it was really very really big pain because then after defining this class you have to put some lines here pointing out to this x and then you initialize that with 10 remember you'll say something like a dot dot x equal to 10 and then you will write integer here just to give the definition of this x so this was like clumsy it was not that great now they have this solution in c plus plus 17 they have this static inline integer x is equal to 10 and this would do the exact job what this used to do without having to write these many extra stuff so this is second point now let's move to the third point third is uh, i don't know if you have faced this problem but if you ever wanted to create const expression with extern this was not possible extern we all know why we use that extern is used to just tell that i am going to declare something not defined meaning if you want to write extern integer x here you say that i'm just declaring it i'm not defining it there is no memory allocated for this particular x you're saying that right now i don't know where this will get defined but if you put const expression excuse me for the writing at front of this then this is not possible i mean this was not possible till c plus plus 17 now it is possible what you will do you'll write const expression inline integer x and then you can define also like you can cool right so we have these three very important points to use inline variables thanks for watching guys bye bye take care i'll see in the next videos